A person of interest is in custody after a 4th of July shooting in Highland Park, Illinois. The gunman fired down onto a parade from a rooftop, killing six people and injuring 30. Police searched for the gunman for hours and captured him after a traffic stop and brief chase. The suspect used what police describe as a high-powered rifle that he purchased legally. The victims include Nicholas Toledo, who is from Mexico and was visiting family in Illinois. Politicians have been quiet in their statements compared to previous shootings, largely expressing condolences for victims who were enjoying a day of celebration. However, Illinois' two Democratic senators expressed their support for an assault weapons ban. I just listened to the sound of that gunfire from one of the um, videos that was captured. And let me tell you that the last time I heard a weapon with that capacity firing that rapidly on the 4th of July was Iraq. President Biden said in a statement he recently signed into law the first major bipartisan gun bill in 30 years, but quote, there is much more work to do and I'm not going to give up fighting the epidemic of gun violence. The Safer Communities Act did not include an assault weapons ban, but did expand background checks for 18 to 20 year olds and closed what's known as the boyfriend loophole to prevent those convicted of domestic violence against a dating partner from owning a gun for five years. Straight from DC, I'm Ray Bogan.